This question offers us some free information. Uh, the sum of A, B, and C all together is 12. Uh, they want to know what's the value of B, so just one portion uh, of uh, A plus B plus C. Uh, now, each statement on its own isn't going to be sufficient because uh, while it does give us the sum of B plus something, so it, it explains part of the 12, uh, there's no way for us to isolate, to figure out of A plus B, how much is A, how much is B or in, in statement two of B plus C, how much of that is B, how much of that is C. Uh, so we, since we can't figure out how much of those sums came from B, uh, they're not sufficient on their own. Uh, so we're left with just two answer choices, C and E, and we'll explore what happens when we combine the statements right after this. So when we combine these two statements, it is possible to uh, note that adding the equation, so a plus b plus b plus c, has to be 14, because 8 plus 6 is 14, uh, and we know that a plus b plus c is 12. So the extra 2, comparing 12 to 14, that extra 2 must have come from that extra b. We have a plus 2b plus c as compared to just a plus b plus c. So the extra b gave us an extra 2, which means b equals 2. So when we combine these two statements, we can answer the question, and the correct answer is c. If you like this approach, be sure to check out my book. It's all in there. What do you want me to talk about in my next video? Type it down in the comments below, and maybe I'll make a video just for you. Make sure you're subscribed and click that little bell icon below so you don't miss any future videos. See you next time!